So a German website called All Facebook recently spotted a new tool on Facebook that is designed to help companies find the right influencers for their brands. It's called Branded Content Matching. Hey, this is Chia from Brand24 and welcome back to The Social Recap, a rundown of all the latest highlights and trends in social media and digital marketing news. So Burger King recently came up with a pretty cool Instagram campaign in Spain that might have helped them discover how to make a perfect Whopper for their customers. So they polled their audience through Instagram stories, asking them to customize their perfect Whopper using ingredient stickers. And in just one day, Burger King Spain had over 270,000 brand interactions and over 30,000 Whoppers were created through Instagram stories. And the campaign had so much social media reach that it even grew their followers by 10% overnight. So here's what the perfect Whopper looks like based on data from the Burger King Instagram polls. Uh, that's two patties, cheese, bacon, ketchup, mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. And the most important part, at least in Spain, is to hold the pickles. The campaign was a great success. Beyond the overnight increase in audience engagement, they were also able to take the data and use it for in-store customer acquisition by turning it into a real burger. So you can actually buy the Insta Whopper in Burger Kings everywhere in Spain for seven euro. And speaking of Instagram, if you're one of those users who only posts directly to the feed, you might want to give stories another chance, especially since they now have over 300 million daily active users, which is why Instagram is developing their features to make it easier for users to post from their Instagram feed directly to stories. So now when you're scrolling through your Instagram feed, if you see something interesting, you might you can just tap on share and then select create a story with this post. The name of the original poster will be visible and linked in the story. So, uh, so far this update will let users create stories from posts by other users in their feed and not from their own feed posts. And stories aren't just growing on Instagram. In just 14 months since it was launched, Facebook now has over 150 million daily active users for Facebook stories. The numbers look so promising that of course it's time for the platform to start profiting with advertisements and developing their stories feature further. So these developments include updates for Facebook story voice posts, uh, letting users see photos and videos taken by Facebook camera directly on Facebook instead of the phones. And um, they're also releasing Facebook story ads. So Facebook story voice posts will let users record audio clips for their Facebook stories that they can share with a picture. Or they can upload an audio file and, and just post it as a story. So Facebook story ads are being tested in the US, Mexico, and Brazil right now. These are five to 15 second video ads that don't contain any links, which users are free to skip. And advertisers can easily cross post their Instagram story ads to Facebook stories, or they can automatically reformat their Facebook newsfeed ads to get them ready for Facebook stories. Of course, the surge in popularity of stories doesn't mean that Facebook and Instagram are gonna give up on their other features especially since most advertisers currently advertise outside of stories. So Instagram is coming out with a new feature that will let advertisers turn their organic Instagram posts into ads within Facebook's Power Editor and Ads Manager. So previously, advertisers had been restricted to the Promote button, which is Insta's answer to the Boost button on Facebook. But now they'll be able to use Facebook Ads Manager and Power Editor. So at the moment, advertisers will be able to create ads from single video and single photo feed posts. Stories, carousel, branded content, and Instagram shopping ads won't be supported just yet. And influencer marketing is one of those phrases that you hear everywhere now, especially when you think about uh, Instagram influencer marketing, YouTube influencer marketing, Snapchat influencer marketing, and of course, Facebook influencer marketing. So a German website called All Facebook recently spotted a new tool on Facebook that is designed to help companies find the right influencers for their brands. It's called branded content matching. So there are three main components in the tool, search, save list, and suggested creators. The search filter will help you find influencers based on their audience and personal demographics. So you could look for a content creator who is influential among young women and um, who is a young woman herself. The saved lists provide more information about your potential influencers. You can view them according to engagement, views per video, or take a look at their portfolio. 
And it looks like suggested creators will be, a list, will be a list of potential influencers based on the search information that you provide and your saved lists. So by helping its users cash in on the time that they spend on their platform, Facebook not only encourages the creation of better content, at least for brands, uh, but also increases the amount of time that users will spend on their site. And with the introduction of Facebook story ads, a lot of businesses might need a hand getting started with the new format. So by matching them with content creators who specialize in this could be just the perfect solution. And Snapchat spectacles are, they're those camera sunglasses that you can use for photo and video recording. The snaps look cool inside Snapchat, but seem kind of awkward when you have to export them to a circular format with a big white border in any other app. Now, Snap is testing new export formats for their spectacles. Instead of a white border, you can choose a black border, and more importantly, you can also select a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is popular on YouTube and other video platforms, making the spectacles more compatible with other platforms. Uh, will hopefully make them more appealing to a wider audience, especially since the first version only sold 220,000 pairs, which was well below their projections. And we mentioned last time how Google Assistant has learned how to make appointments for you over the phone. Well, the AI technology sounds so lifelike that Google will now require its assistant to identify itself as Google Assistant at the beginning of every call. And calls will be recorded so that customers can review the conversations later. Now, Google said that they will alert those on the receiving end of the phone call in certain jurisdictions that they're being recorded. Now, many states require consent from both parties if the phone conversation is going to be recorded to protect the invasion of privacy. Hopefully, Google Assistant will notify everyone that it calls that they're being recorded and not just the ones that it has to. So that's it for this episode of The Social Recap. Don't miss out on the latest trends and highlights in social media and digital marketing news. Subscribe to The Social Recap on YouTube for even more inspiration, insights, tools, and tips. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning into The Social Recap, and I'll see you next time. Bye.